Yep, I didn't quite make it that time, that's okay. Let's start with full health back here. If I can make it clean to him, I won't be in such a hurry. Walk, you fall. Just helpless on the stairs. Getting some lag there, I can see it. Maybe you can't. Lucky you if you can't. Good for you if you can't. Oh, that's right, I've got this. Oh boy, timing on those is so tough. Especially because your whip doesn't quite go as fast as you'd like it to. Ever. There's just that little bit of, of time. It's not emulator lag. It's just built into the game. Because Trevor here is supposed to be just a little bit slow. Down goes Grant. And he's gonna be my buddy now. Close to a one up here. Alright. This exposition I don't think I can skip. I haven't yet looked into the Game Genie codes on this emulator. Other emulators I've used have had Game Genies built right into him. Yeah, I'll take Grant with me. Here we go, baby. Now we get to see Grant at work. Because, annoyingly, we have to work our way back down the same clock tower we just came from. See our bridge just broke there. We're trying to get to the castle. Down goes the clock tower. Now, Grant is a backup character for me. By touching select, there he is. Grant jumps higher, runs faster. The physics of him going off the ledges are smooth, exactly what you'd like. Of course, the drawbacks are his uh, shorter weapon range. He also, though, has the ability to jump Cash walls, which is a very useful trait of his. One that I will take full advantage of in the next few levels. There's that one up at 20,000 points. Working down is not quite as difficult as it was up. You have to do it. I suppose you can just check out Grant's gas abilities here. Try not to die. Some falls you can execute here and some you'll die. Which is quite annoying, but it's part of the game. That power-up is a double shot. That's nice. The double shot, if I still had it, when you have a ranged weapon, allows you to shoot two of them in the air at any given time. Just one. 
So if Simon had his sword, or the axe, or any of the other ranged weapons, normally you can only have one of them in the air at a time. Double shot gives you two. There's Grant. Hello, gorgeous. Although I could probably use that turkey leg now to get up to the checkpoint. That helped me code. Going to be so helpful getting through here. So I'm using my Logitech controller. It does have the Turbo B button, which I get tempted to use, I think, too often. Try to swing too fast, you, you pay for it. There would be an example of a uh, spot you can't go down. So, there was that dying sound again. Same as before. This must just be designed to suck some lives out of you. Which has worked for me, of course. In this case, it sucked a few lives out of me if I wasn't using the help me code. A few other codes I saw were, uh, ooh. Using some of the designer's first names or last names. Ooh, that was really stupid. It's again why I shouldn't speak while making this game. Down we go. Yeah, it's gonna get more difficult with me speaking while playing, but that'll be part of the fun of it. I guess. For you or for me, I don't know. For somebody. There we go. That's why this is not a let's play. This is my play. I'll play. Okay. Some of those Let's Play guys probably navigate this whole downward thing in no time. Oh yeah, I used my freezer there. And out we go! Back to Castlevania.